Confusing but interesting topic is Schilling test. How you perform this test? First you need radio labeled vitamin B12 okay plus IM means parenteral non radio labeled B12 okay after 24 to 48 hours you will you will measure the urine so you will measure you will measure the radio labeled B12 in urine okay what you will see you will see the following First, if in urine become positive, I mean high radio labeled B12 in urine, this means it is dietary deficiency. Okay, here the problem is obvious with the diet, dietary deficiency. Why? You gave him, you gave a patient radio labeled B12, and uh, so you gave a patient radio labeled vitamin B12, and all vitamin B12 get observed and then excreted in urine. That's mean, and excreted in urine, that's mean become positive, which is high vitamin B12 radio labeled and excreted in urine. That's when you have problem with the diet. Once corrected by orally, so you will not have any, so you will not have any further problems. So that's mean it is dietary problem. So what else? This is the urine if become positive. How about the urine if they become negative? I mean urine negative, which is low vitamin, low radio labeled vitamin B12 in urine. This is one of the three causes. If you will give him intrinsic factor and then corrected by intrinsic factor, the urine will become positive after intrinsic factor or urine will become positive after antibiotics that's mean you will have now after giving the patient antibiotic you will have now urine positive means high radio labeled b12 in urine or after giving him pancreatic extract okay urine also become positive means high radio labeled b12 in urine so now what are the causes for all of these if you will give him uh, intrinsic factors what is the what is the disease which is corrected by intrinsic factor we call this disease pernicious anemia okay and what is the disease which is corrected usually the disease causes vitamin b12 deficiency but corrected by giving antibiotic we call this bacterial overgrowth Usually there is bacteria and bacteria killed by antibiotics, so there is no further problem with the vitamin B12. And if you will give pancreatic extract, the, that's when you have problem with the pancreas, so this is we call this as chronic pancreatitis. Okay. So now you have you have two major issue or you have two major causes of vitamin B12, uh, of vitamin B12 either pernicious anemia or this we can call these causes all malabsorption problem so now if i if i am ask if i am going to asking you what are the why you do shilling tests you can tell me to identify the cause Okay, so Schilling test used to identify the causes of vitamin B12 deficiency and according to Schilling test you have either dietary deficiency you can figure it out or pernicious anemia which is non-malabsorptions or malabsorption cause like bacterial overgrowth or chronic pancreatitis.